How's it been going? It's early, but how's it been going? Uh, it's been going well. Everything's been looking good, uh, feeling good. Feel good to be back in the building. Getting ready to get things started again. Anybody standing out among the young guys? Jordan Anthony, Cam McGrown, any of those guys so far? Uh, all them guys are doing pretty well. Uh, really can't even pick one out. They all doing well. They all, you know, uh, exploding to the ball, looking good, being where they got to be, and um, also, like, being uh, real good in the, uh, the meeting rooms, which is most important. I think you and Josh Mattel's tweeting after the season, you know, there's a lot more to do. Is it, what is that, how is that motivating you coming off of last season in this group? Uh, just motivates us, motivate us to uh, be better, do better. Um, you know, last season didn't end the way we wanted it to, to end, and we wasn't where we wanted to be. So <clears throat> we want to do better um, our next year, which is our final year. And you know, we don't you don't have another chance after this. This is your senior year, so you know you just want to give it a, give it your all, so you don't have no regrets at the end. Were you surprised when Al Washington left? Uh, I don't. I mean, I don't, even, I don't even know. No comment. I don't know. <laughs> That's still my guy, you know, all respect to Coach Al. And, you know, I just respect him for everything he taught me, everything that, uh, you know, all the knowledge he passed down to me. But, you know, he moved on and, you know, yeah, nothing else to say. How much can uh, Josh Ross replicate what Doug Bush was able to do last year? Uh, Josh, is, he's, a, he's a good dude. He's a great athlete. And, you know, he's good sideline to sideline. He's a hard hitter. Um, you know, he reads, reads D line. I mean, reads offensive linemen very well, and um, you know, he's 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 where he has to be all the time. So, I feel like it won't be that it won't be a drop off at all. Actually, I feel like he'll come in and you know do the same thing that Devin Bush was doing, maybe even better. So, how would you evaluate your performance last season? Uh, I think I did pretty well. You know, I always could do better. Um, you know, I first unfortunately got ejected out of two games, so I got to fix the way I hit now. <laughs> So, I mean, but overall, I feel like I did well. Uh, I feel that, you know, I tried my best. And um, this year, you know, I, my intention is to do better, and I will do better. Harbaugh mentioned uh, Ben Mason was moving around a lot, offense, defense, special teams. Has he been working on linebacker at all early on? Uh, he's been working. Uh, honestly, I'm not even really sure. I see him at, like, D-line. Mm -hmm. see him at tight end. So, he's been working at a different couple of spots. How do you think he'd be able to translate to D line? I know you're. Uh, I feel like he'll be able to do well. You know, he's strong, super strong guy. Uh, he's smart, and you know you can put him anywhere, and he'll work his tail off. So anywhere he end up, I feel like he'll be you know great to the team, and you know doing the position that he's at very well. Do you consider leaving for draft? Or uh, you know, I had yeah, I considered leaving. My options were in the air. You know, I could have left, but you know, I feel like I wanted to come back. So like you know. There's more on the table and the more I can do and you know I want to come back and get my degree. Uh something I you know that my mom and I we really like uh stress to each other that I want to get my degree, you know, because football don't last forever. So you wanna be able to have a fallback plan and you know to me that's all.